Technology has had huge benefits for those with health issues. Robots can do surgery. Sensors can monitor virtually every part of your body for disease. Now there's a new addition to the tech that's keeping you well. Inventors have come up with a way to sound the alarm because of that funny looking thing on your arm. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. Early detection of a serious medical condition is critical to help doctors devise a treatment plan to successfully combat the problem, especially if it's a disease like cancer. Skin cancers are some of the most common and treatable health issues people face, but early detection methods are still hit or miss. I traveled to Toronto, Canada to visit college engineering graduates Rotimi Fadia and Michael Takla, who used new research information to develop a prototyped skin cancer detector. Hey, I'm Adam. Hey, Adam. We met up at Rotimi's apartment. You have a design project that you guys are working on. Yeah. You can come up with anything you want. Why did you guys focus on Like, how did you land on this specifically? What we realized was that for skin cancer, and specifically for melanoma, most of what doctors are able to do today is just use their like, visual inspection or personal experience to guide their analysis. Uh -huh. So they have guidelines, but they have really no effective tools available to, let's say, a family doctor to aid them in their analysis. Rotimi and Michael found research done by Johns Hopkins University that revealed temperature variations between healthy skin and malignant lesions as the skin went from cold to hot. In other words, the skin cancer got warmer faster. But measuring the difference wasn't easy. What they're using to detect that was very high-end, very expensive infrared cameras that were kind of out of reach to any any average individual. The trick with melanoma is early detection. So what we're trying to do is make like a, a, a for, more affordable version of it that could be more implemented in family doctor's office or um, maybe for personal use. Yeah. The guys have full-time jobs, but use their nights and weekends to keep refining the detector's hardware and software. So walk me through how you would administer this test. We look at the area of skin that we'll be assessing and we cool it. So this is about 40 degrees. Right now we're gonna cool it to 50, 59 degrees. Okay, ice pack that just came out of the freezer. Yep, exactly. Right. And we do this for about 30 seconds. And then we would take the, the skin and take the sensors and apply that to that region. And this would go on for about two minutes. And there we'd be looking at the temperature values and the change over time. You can see that's a real-time heat map there. It's going from the cool temperature to your normal body temperature. So it's slowly heating up. Even though my exam was just a test, the information from the sensors was instant. So all of those blocks that we're seeing represent what? So they actually represent each of the sensors um, on, on, the, oh, on the patch, okay. right? Okay, and the darker color represents? So the dark, darker color represents different temperatures. So the, the darker the color, the higher the temperature. Mm -hmm. If a section of the colored block turns darker faster than the rest, that indicates the area of skin that may be cancerous and should be further examined by a doctor. Rotimi and Michael envision more rounds of prototype development, but they've been encouraged by doctors and researchers to keep at it. And who knows, the next big medical breakthrough might come from this small apartment, because great ideas and innovation can happen anywhere. <laughs>